It's that time again. Back to the op center, Joe Fraley for another real-time update on Operation Gold. Take it away, Joe. Thanks, John. Well, I got to show you this observation. It was quite cute. Somebody's making uh, some progress with their flat Stanley. <laughs> Getting a tour of uh, the Washington area or the mall. Um, so we can begin to ask questions as well of our maps. And for one thing, we can filter our maps. So maybe I want to see what one particular individual has collected. So I can generate these queries, and we can go in and see where they've been, what they've collected. It looks like they're having a little fun out there. I am gold, hear me roar, Jerry. Oh, we just got a 911 alert. Uh, James Tedrick has been confronted by a security guard, and he's entered his location on the map. <laughs> We were worried about this happening, actually, because they are walking around 20 people taking pictures in DC. So let's see if we can route some of our team members to uh, help James out. So we're going to execute our closest support, and we see we've got a few people that could actually go help James out. So maybe we need to deal with that. But stepping back, we can, um, we can extend the dashboard. The dashboard, we provide you several out-of-the-box widgets that I've been demonstrating, and we can use these widgets together. But sometimes you want additional functionality. And so to provide that, we've given you the ability to extend the application. And this was an example, one example, of how I extended the application with the closest support. I'm calling a geoprocessing service to find those support or the closest members to support James. We also showed some additional functionality or extended functionality when we showed the metro stops and the walk time that Brett did earlier, as well as this, uh, the current metro stops that are at the station at the moment. So you can extend it and add additional widgets. Also, we use GeoEvents Processor to provide some of the data content. So that 911 alert is a trigger provided by GeoEvents Processor, as well as the individual locations of where they are at this moment. Being able to take all those breadcrumbs and filter it down to just their current position is very important. Just think about it in your organization when you want to know exactly where your workforce is at a particular moment in time and be able to contact them and just like we did with James, be able to route support to help him out. So it looks like we are, let's get our total count. We're up to 376 observations throughout the exercise. We've got two teams that are tied at 97. They're collecting quite a bit. We've got 199 total pieces of gold. So, um, and I bet to say that probably 50% of that is gold doors. So that's the update for Operation Gold at the moment. Back to you, John. Thanks, Joe. That's still impressive. And it keeps getting better.